<laughs> so I officially got to like, forgot to like actually introduce this week's vlog. Hello, it is Aero Vlog Week 7. I'm back in London. I forgot to even film on the train. I'm sorry. I normally am really good with that bit. Um, so yeah, I'm in London. Um, this week is going to be mental. So I apologize for how much is going to happen this week. Hopefully it's not too long a vlog, but there's going to be a lot in it. Yeah, so I literally got back like 15, 20 minutes ago and I'm already about to head back into Central because tonight I'm going to the first ever the show goes on cabaret at Studio 88 um, in Soho and it's basically like an after show cabaret so loads of stars of the West End come and perform after they've done their shows in the West End so um, I know people like Rob Houchin, Danielle Steers and loads of others are all performing tonight so it should be cool and I know loads of theatre and theatre bloggers and vloggers and everybody who lives in musical theatre will be there so it'll be cool to see everyone. <laughs> I've got to make sure I leave early or leave at least before midnight so I can get home because I've got work at 6 a.m. in the morning. <sighs> but, um, <laughs> but yeah, it should be fun. I'm really excited to see what happens because as you all know I'm a big advocate for like new new theatre things that happen really regularly to bring everybody together. So hopefully this is amazing and I'll be there a lot. We shall see, you shall find out from later Aero Vlogs. The Garrick Dark, like, wow. But that's so weird seeing nothing on it. <laughs> no one I know has got to the event yet. And I don't want to walk in on my own. So I'm just like, la di da di da, walking around. So they were in here somewhere, so I'm going to go and find them. It's fine. It's fine. Thursday. This week's gone really quickly and I've been really bad at filming. So I think this might be the shortest era vlog so far. Reflections of what we could be. Reflections of... I mean, I've got Lionel Richie stuck in my head. I haven't really filmed much this week. Um, Monday and Tuesday kind of were a bit of a blur. Um, things didn't go to plan or like, yeah, just things. So it was a bit of a... I was a bit like, oh, this week's not going to plan at all. But I did get to see great people. Like, I got to see Olivia, Charlotte. I got to spend time with Sophie. Sophie Ross, who runs the Theatre Hub and is a really good friend. Um, and then yesterday, me and Chris ran, uh, me and Chris randomly went to see um, Strictly Ballroom. Chris Gannon. I think I've got your name right, Chris. Well, it's definitely Gannon, but I just don't know if that's how it was pronounced. We'd never been to see a show together, and we kind of, and also actually just spent time together. Like we've spoken loads online, just never in person, or only when like we're in passing of each other. So we went to see Strictly Ballroom for my second time and his first and I am um, we got the fourth row for like really cheap so I was hella happy and it was just such a fun show and I'm definitely going to remember it like Strictly Ballroom is definitely becoming a guilty pleasure show I, I think that's the best way to put it it's just so uplifting and camp and fun and the dancing's phenomenal so yeah and then I had a really nice evening and that's what I'm going to say about that I might have had a date that's all. Today I am off to see Sylvia, the matinee of the new musical at the Old Vic and I'm hoping all goes well because they've had a few little issues and um, then after that I'm going to some drinks with raw PR which should be fun. I have to look like a cool dude and I just I tap myself with glasses so that says everything. Ah. 
Yeah. So today was lovely. Sylvia is going to be, is the British equivalent to Hamilton. Um, it needs some time, I think, to... Well, I want to go back to see the full show because I only got to see like 80% of it because of health and safety reasons because I hadn't fully like rehearsed for the two understudies that were stepping in last minute to the show. So it wasn't safe for them to do the whole show. But um, the stand ovation and just the feel in that room, it's just, it's just such an epic piece of work. And I think with it getting more rehearsal time and with them being able to work on the show more, like just like seeing how it runs in front of an audience fully and like getting used to it and then seeing what can stay or go, because that's what they do in previews. Um, but it's such, like, there's just something about this show which feels like it's here for a long time. And then I went for drinks, for raw PR drinks, which is really nice because the, the PR world in general, like, it's a whole new world to me, so it's really cool to learn about it. And to be there with loads of um, blogger friends and YouTuber friends and stuff and to get to have a chat and just chill and talk about theatre and stuff that we love and meet new people. It was great. And I've been so bad at vlogging this week. It's really hard to vlog. I think, like, I knew I was going to have a crash week where I'd just be really bad at vlogging. But normally when I have one of these weeks, I just don't. Like, this is the week when, like, in a normal me fashion, this would have been the week where I would just stop vlogging and I'd forget to do it and I just wouldn't vlog ever again. Well, like, do, like, our vlogs would cease. But I'm not letting that happen. And I think it's nice. I think it's because I've allowed myself to go, you know what? Don't have to vlog everything. You're going to miss something. Just keep going. And that's what I've been trying to remind myself this week when I've been a bit rubbish at filming and stuff. And I think also because I'm tired and, like, like this week, with I just haven't had time to do my extra videos in a week. And I think, I and I really desperately need some admin time, which I haven't allowed myself. So there's so much admin I need to do, but I just haven't planned when. So yeah, tomorrow's I'm booked. Tomorrow I literally have a day planned from 5am till 11pm. Like travel time I think is the only thing I've allowed myself. So that's going to be fun. But it should be a great day. I'm nervous because I think I'm interviewing. I don't do it that often. And um, so you might get some errant interviewing time on here, which will be fun. You might get a video of me interviewing people. Nah. So hopefully that goes well. But yeah, see you tomorrow on Friday. your camera to do my hair and I hit record. <laughs> Thank you.
So, I didn't film an ending to this vlog, uh, just like everything else this week, I really forgot to film. But, it means that uh, this week, like, week 8, is gonna be great, because I'm gonna film loads and talk loads. But, um, just to let you all know what kind of happened, since I didn't really explain stuff. So, I went to do the interviews for Macbeth, um, and I'm going to be editing those to make some, either some social content on Twitter and Instagram, and also probably on here, maybe, as well as a video. Um, also, I'm gonna be doing... 142nd Street because I took Quill and um, it was his first time and my first time seeing Bonnie Langford in the show so I'm going to do a full video all about 42nd Street and why you should go and see it and then oh yeah, and then I randomly ended up seeing um, everybody's talking about Jamie so now it's my tied most seen show with Kinky Boots again at nine times and I love the new cast uh, well, like, the cast changes, and it's so nice to see Rebecca McInnes as the actual lead now, Margaret, because I saw her really early on in the run when she was on as The Understudy, and Lee, I really like Lee Ross's take on Loco Chanel, so let me know if you do, too. And then I saw Six on Sunday, and I love Six. Um, everybody said it was going to be my show, and they were so right. It's just so good and so clever, and to Toby Marlowe and Lucy Moss have made, like, been so incredibly clever with the lyrics and the dialogue and I just I can't recommend six enough there are so I would give it six crowns six stars yes yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably make some videos on a lot of these shows because I have a lot to say about some of them and if you got to the end of this video then I think your comment should be include this is a sad girl because Olivia's kind of made it a thing now that if she's ever in my vlog, that's what she says. So, there you go. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to join me. Everyone else family were pretty cool. And I apologise for this vlog being very non-talkative. Bye. Love you all. Bye.